Engaging Retro Thrusters, now! Sometimes, you hear that a certain developer is doing a certain thing, and you're just immediately on board. That's how I reacted when I heard that Fulbright, creators of Gone Home, were making a science fiction game on a spaceship. The makers of one of the formative story-based exploration games doing sci-fi? Yes, please. Tacoma puts you in the shoes of Amy Farrier, a contracted worker sent to the abandoned Tacoma space station to recover data and, most importantly, the ship's onboard AI, Odin. Thanks to an augmented reality system Amy picks up early in the game, the player can re-watch events that took place on the ship, as portrayed with simple polygonal models of the six crew members that were on it. And so the player explores the space station, finding these instances of interaction between the crew members and watching as they attempt to solve a mechanical error that could kill them all. The premise is fairly simple, but it's the framing device that really makes it work and ratchets up the tension. There's nothing alive on this ship. But the game doesn't say whether the crew is dead, escaped, rescued, or what, so as you explore the empty ship and get to know these characters through their past interactions, the game gains a sense of tension and dread as to what you may find in the end. The sequences we see of the Tacoma's crew are an interactive experience. We can't affect what happened in the past, of course, but we can fast forward, pause, rewind, and even bring up what the crew is looking at on their own AR interfaces at times. Because of this system, we never just see something happen. We can move throughout it, go to different areas, listen to different conversations, and get insight into what these characters were thinking and feeling by seeing who they were talking to, what they were looking into, and other stuff on their AR interfaces. The result is that we get to know each of these characters individually, and they really do come across as real people. Each of them has strengths and weaknesses, hopes and fears, happiness and dissatisfaction. In keeping with Fulbright's reputation since Gone Home, these characters also represent a wide range of people different races, different nationalities, different lifestyles, different sexual orientations, different relationship statuses. Each of them is different in ways that often inform who they are as a character, so we really get to see deep into these people as they navigate a stressful and dangerous situation. The game also has a bit of commentary on capitalism and megacorporations, as we find through various documents and bits of exposition that the world of Tacoma is basically controlled entirely by these companies. Loyalty is even some kind of currency that determines what you're allowed to do and how. It also dips a bit into surveillance, but mostly focuses more on the control and power granted to organizations whose primary purpose is their profits and what that means to workers like the Tacoma's crew. Most of this is background information, but it's definitely an interesting string of social commentary running through the whole thing. The star of the show for me, though, is Odin, the ship's AI. Seeing him interact with the crew is fascinating, and learning how he's been socialized by the crew member in charge of his development becomes a key factor in understanding his role in the story. You definitely have to play the game to see what I'm talking about here. He's a fascinating AI. AI character. I really can't adequately express how well this all comes together in the game's message and theming, mostly because doing so would be far too much information. Maybe I'll do a more detailed video about it later. Point is that letting us see this deeply into these events and the lives of these characters allows Fulbright to paint a strong and vibrant picture that manages to pack some pretty mature themes and strong emotions into such a small package. As for the gameplay, it's simple and exploratory, the kind of game that doesn't require skill really and can't be lost in the traditional sense, but that doesn't mean it's entirely linear and your hand is held the whole way through. The act of observing all the events through the augmented reality simulations requires observation and attentiveness to make sure you actually recognize everything going on. You could certainly get the basic elements of the story without paying too much attention, or watching each of them through once or not looking for other small details, and the game's only story-based gatekeeping requires the player to input door codes that can be seen in the past accounts, so the game's central challenge is just your own ability to explore and track events so you get all the information available to you. Even then, it's not that that hard to do, but it's hardly a passive experience. Tacoma wants to get you actively invested in its events and its characters, so you'll want to scour each scene for any details you can pick up, and for me at least, it absolutely worked. This is a hard one for me to review because I work hard to make sure I approach these things with a critical eye, but I also want to judge the game on its own terms. And while I don't believe there is such a thing as a perfect game necessarily, I can think of a few games about which I would change absolutely nothing. And as a story-based exploration game, I cannot find fault with Tacoma. It's probably not for everyone due to its lack of action and relatively slow pace, but Tacoma accomplishes exactly what it sets out to do and it doesn't well. Tacoma is not the most impacting game I've ever played or even the one that left the biggest impression on me, but it did nonetheless leave a very positive impression and frankly I just can't think of anything that even given the opportunity I would actually change in this game. Not to say it's the ultimate game and offers everything anyone might want in a video game, it, it's not. 
not, and it doesn't, and there will be people who don't enjoy it. But it does what it sets out to do, and does it in a way that, frankly, I simply have no complaints about. It's just an excellent story-based exploration game with a great premise, complex characters, and a fulfilling story. So in Games as Lit 101, Tacoma gets an A+. Here we go. Thanks for watching. Tacoma was purchased for me by Kate McKiernan, who wanted me to give a shout out to TakeThis.org, an excellent online resource for mental health and self-care. The link is in the description, along with Kate's Twitter handle if you want to follow her. Send me a message if there's a game you want to get for me to review, and give you a shout out as well. See you next time.